VO3 just got a competitor. And it's already better than Kling and might be better than VO3. I recently discovered a new AI video generator, and I can say that it might be the best in terms of cost and quality. The crazy thing is that this AI is the most uncensored one so far. Not only that, you can use this AI as open source and run it on your computer and create unlimited creations. And this is not sponsored by them. I'm going to try this AI myself, and let's see how good this AI is. The name of this AI is Wan AI. They have released their newest model, Wan 2.2, and this was created by the Alibaba group of companies. Since it's a China-based company, we have the open source version, which we can run on our computer, and it's 100% free like DeepSeek. And you can also access this AI via their main website, which is wan.video. You can get the link from the description. And let's see how to create prompts and make videos with this AI. One of the reasons why I love this AI is that we can make videos with clean movement, not like other AI video generators. This AI can make ultra-realistic human movements, as an example, if we check this video, the prompt that has been used to make this video is cinematic rain scene, centered medium shot of Chaplin style tap dancer, black and white film grain, high contrast, soft light, slow motion splash with star highlights, handheld tremor for vintage rhythm, optimized for immersive video generation. This prompt has mentioned all the necessary information and the video is exactly as it is. If you take a closer look at this dancer, the moves he is doing are super realistic and it doesn't have that uncanny look. Now let's make a different style dancing video. This is where we're going to generate this video. First you need to select the video option from this menu. Wan AI can generate images as well. Then we have this image to video option, text to video option, and some other effects options as well. Let's try the text to video feature first, and then we can try image to video feature. Then, I'm going to select the latest model one, 2.2 plus. Then you can select the preferred aspect ratio from here. These ratios are suitable for YouTube videos, YouTube shorts, and Instagram reels. Let's go with the landscape aspect ratio. I'm going to paste my prompt to this. I have included all the details in this prompt, including character description, dancing style, and background details. And let's generate this video and see how good or bad this AI model is. It took around two minutes to complete this video, and I think this is perfect. In the prompt, I mentioned that this video should be about a young girl dancing in hip-hop style. And I also added dancing moves like this hip-hop dance move mid-air, one hand reaching up, and one leg bent. And this AI has replicated this move exactly as I described. And I wanted here jacket to be oversized red bomber jacket with graffiti designs. And as you can see here, it's also exactly as I described. Not only that, I also described her pants to be cargo pants with chains. It's also perfect. I also added the hairstyle as, she wears a black beanie and silver hoop earrings, with braided hair dyed purple at the end, and I'm actually impressed. Not like other AI models, this AI gives attention to the smaller details, and the background of this video is also exactly as I described. The only bad thing about this video is that its duration is 5 seconds, I hope at least it should have been 10 seconds. Now let's make another video with more details and see if this AI can handle something big. So, I generated this prompt using ChatGPT. The video I wanted was a group of five Korean girls dancing on a concert stage surrounded by the crowd. They are all wearing the same color but different outfits, and one of them is holding a microphone. And I asked ChatGPT to generate a prompt and ask it to be more specific about the small details. This is the prompt I got. Now let's copy this to Wan AI, make sure to adjust the settings like we did before. I'm not going to explain one by one again. And honestly, I didn't see this setting part earlier. If you go to these settings, we can enable this sound effects option. Let's try and see if this sound effects option is similar to VO3 or better. Okay, we have a problem here. I think this video can't be generated. I think the reason is that this prompt is too long. Okay, that's another bad thing about this AI. Let's ask ChatGPT to make this prompt shorter. This looks okay to me, and let's copy it and generate this video. This is the video I got, and it's actually pretty good. Oh, I also added the sound effects, right? Let's check it as well. That's actually not bad at all. If you take a closer look at this video, these five girls have a Korean ethnicity as I described. And all of them are wearing white color but different outfits. And one of them is holding a microphone. All the details I have given are in the video exactly as I described, including the stage, background, and crowd. Now, it's enough with the dancing videos. I'm gonna make something cinematic. This is what I wanna generate. A man swims towards a life-saving boat in the ocean with a big ship behind and it's sinking. 
People are jumping out of it into the ocean. We got our detailed prompt from ChatGPT, and let's generate this video as well. Okay, this is not as good as I expected. Everything looks cool except this guy. I wanted him to swim, not walk on the water. So let's try this again and see if we will face the same issue. There's no way that they did this, huh? Now the guy is swimming, but the ship and the other two guys are flying. I think we need to change the prompt completely. What I'm gonna do is, let's just explain the video we want, and I'm gonna use this prompt enhancement feature to improve this basic prompt to correct and detailed one. Okay, this new prompt looks okay to me, so let's try this as well. I had to make two generations because the first video has the same issue we faced earlier, and that's actually normal because nothing is perfect. But I honestly think this AI is better than VO3. It's because this is gonna charge only 10 credits per generation. And it's really cost friendly. And you can also run this on your computer by downloading the open source program. And it's not gonna cost a penny, it's 100% free. Now let's try some other features as well. This AI can create images as well. I'm gonna select this image option. And let's select this landscape aspect ratio. As you can see here, it's only gonna cost us two credits to generate the image. I'm just gonna type a simple prompt about a man who is walking in the rain in the middle of the city. And I'm gonna enhance this prompt to get a good result. Okay, this is good. And as you can see here, we are getting four different images. Now this is amazing. The quality is actually better than I expected. This WAN 2.2 model is actually better than most of the AI image models. Now I'm gonna try this image to video feature from here directly. I think we will be able to convert this image into a video. Okay now, we have this image as the first frame. Let's add something like, man looks at the camera and walks away. I'm gonna enhance this prompt as well because I want to get the best possible output. Let's see what this AI will generate with this prompt. This is actually good, not bad at all. Now, I have this image I want to convert into a video, so let's add it here. And I'm going to add a simple prompt like this. I want these rings in this image to circle around this sun. I think this prompt would be good for that. And let's see the result. This is the result I got. Okay. As you saw in this video, this WAN 2.2 model is actually similar to VO3, and I personally think it's better than VO3 because when we consider all the factors like pricing and quality, this AI is affordable and open source, which means you can run it on your computer without spending money. If you would like to know how to do that, I can make a tutorial in a separate video about that. So if you are interested in that, drop a comment. I will make a video as soon as possible. And I hope you learned some valuable information about the AI world from this video. So if you would like to learn more about AI tools and AI content creation, hit that subscribe button. I will see you guys in the next video.